Today I'll be demonstrating how to replace the backup battery in the Simon XT security panel. I strongly re recommend before you work on this panel that you call the central station and have them put your system on test for approximately an hour. That way if you accidentally trip anything they won't be dispatching the authorities. Also there could be a tamper setting on your panel that would make it go into alarm as soon as you open the panel. So I recommend putting it into sensor test mode manually before you ever open the panel. And the way to do that is to press this down arrow four times. It'll display system tests, so you press OK. It'll display enter code, so you type in your four digit code number and press OK. And then it will display sensor test and you press OK. Now it starts showing trip sensor or whatever number it is and every minute it's going to give you six beeps when it's in test. Don't worry about that, that's normal. Then you'll need most likely a Phillips screwdriver. These panels come with Phillips screws, but sometimes I've seen square drive screws, flat tip screws, but most likely it's a Phillips screw. And it's a small screwdriver uh, on the top, so you need a smaller Phillips screwdriver. It's about a quarter inch long. So you just remove this screw out of the top dead center that gives you an idea how small that screw is. Um, so you don't want to lose this screw. It, all it does is keep the panel from popping open if somebody bumps into it. So I just set it behind right there. Then there's two pins on the top that hold this top down. I mean top close. You just press down on them. And when you pull it away, the panel will kind of snap like that. And just lay it down. Those are the testing beeps, so you can ignore those. Lay it down slowly so that you don't yank on these wires. This is your power wire. You don't want to mess with that. And this is the antenna for your cellular transmitter. You don't want to touch that. This is your backup battery right here. And the way to replace this is you pull back on this tab and this tab, and you can slide the battery out of its compartment. So just pull it up loose there and down at the bottom, and you wiggle it back and forth until it pops out. And here's your battery with the uh, positive and negative leads. To take the leads off, you just pull on them and they'll pop right off. And this is a 6 volt, 1.2 amp hour backup battery. And it should be replaced approximately every two to three years. The way to put it back on is you just match red to the red wire and black to the black wire. And just press them on just like that. And then these wires kind of crisscross underneath the battery. So just lay them into place and I kind of pull the battery down so it compresses this tab here. And that way you can slide it under this tab at the top. And then these wires, don't compress those between the battery and the clip. They'll fit right be between this rail and this clip. So as you're sliding it in, If you have it aligned, you can slide it into place and those wires will fit in between there. Now putting it back up on the wall, oftentimes wires that go across will get trapped underneath this bar and in between the battery or if they're slid too far forward here, they'll get compressed underneath these ribs and right here. So you want them to be slid as far back into the panel as possible. And underneath this bar. So as you're putting it back in, just slide them into place. And if the system has been on the wall for a while, these usually have a bit of a memory to them, so they're pretty easy to slide back into place. And if you snap it against the wall and it stays and it doesn't feel bowed out, that means you have it in the right position. Otherwise, open it up and just realign the wires again. Then, replace your screw and again, you're screwing into plastic, and all you want to do is get it flush. You could turn this and th uh, round out those threads really easily, so all you want to do is just make it so it's flush on the top. Now that you have it all back together, you want to take it out of sensor test, and you do that by pressing the status button three times, and now it's going to show disarmed, and then you can press the status button to check. System okay. And the system's okay. So that's how you re replace the backup battery on a Simon XT panel. Thanks for watching.